Nomenclature codes or codes of nomenclature are the various rulebooks that govern biological taxonomic nomenclature, each in their own broad field of organisms. To an end-user who only deals with names of species, with some awareness that species are assignable to families, it may not be noticeable that there is more than one code, but beyond this basic level these are rather different in the way they work. The successful introduction of two-part names for species by Linnaeus was the start for an ever-expanding system of nomenclature. With all naturalists worldwide adopting this approach to thinking up names there arose several schools of thought about the details. It became ever more apparent that a detailed body of rules was necessary to govern scientific names. From the mid-19th century onwards there were several initiatives to arrive at worldwide accepted sets of rules. Presently nomenclature codes govern the naming of algae, fungi and plants, International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants ICN, which in July 2011 replaced the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature ICBN and the earlier International Rules of Botanical Nomenclature. Animals, International Code of Zoological Nomenclature ICZN. Bacteria, International Code of Nomenclature of Bacteria ICNB. Cultivated Plants, International Code of Nomenclature for Cultivated Plants ICNCP. Plant Associations, International Code of Phytosociological Nomenclature ICPB. Viruses, the International Code of Virus Classification and Nomenclature ICVCN, see also Virus Classification. Topic. Differences between codes Topic Starting point The starting point, that is the time from which these codes are in effect, usually retroactively, varies from group to group, and sometimes from rank to rank. In botany and mycology the starting point is often the 1st of May 1753 Linnaeus, Species Plantarum, in zoology 1758 Linnaeus, Systema Natura, 10th edition. On the other hand, bacteriology started anew, making a clean sweep in 1980 Skirman et al. approved lists of bacterial names, although maintaining the original authors and dates of publication, exceptions in botany, spermatophyta and pteridophyta, supergeneric names, the 4th of August 1789 Jussiu, genera plantarum, mushy except sphagnaceae, the 1st of January 1801 Hedwig, species muscorum, sphagnaceae and hepatitis had a C, including Anthocerote, supergeneric names, the 4th of August 1789, Jussiu, genera Plantarum, Fungi, various dates depending on the group, Nostocaceae homocystii, the 1st of January 1892, Gaumont, Monography des Ocellariae, Nostocaceae heterocystii, the 1st of January 1886, Bornet and Flahault, Revision des Nostocaceae heterocystes, Desmidiaceae, the 1st of January 1848 Ralphs, British Desmidiae, Odegoniaceae, the 1st of January 1900 Hearn, Monography und Iconography der Odegoniaceen, Fossil Plants, Diatoms accepted, the 31st of December 1820 Sternberg, Flora der Vorwitt, Exceptions in Zoology, Spiders, 1757 Clerk, Arane Svetsisi. Topic Workings There are also differences in the way codes work. For example, the ICN, the Code for Algae, Fungi and Plants, forbids totonyms, while the ICZN, the Animal Code, allows them. Topic: <laughs> Terminology These codes differ in terminology, and there is a long-term project to harmonize this. For instance, the ICN uses valid in valid publication of a name equals the act of publishing a formal name with establishing a name as the ICZN equivalent. The ICZN uses valid in valid name equals correct name with correct name as the ICN equivalent. 
Harmonization is making very limited progress. Equals. Topic types. Equals. There are differences in respect of what kinds of types are used. The bacteriological code prefers living type cultures, but allows other kinds. There has been ongoing debate regarding which kind of type is more useful in a case like cyanobacteria. Equals. Topic. Other codes. Equals. Topic. Biocode A more radical approach was made in 1997 when the IUBS, IUMS International Committee on Bionomenclature ICB presented the long-debated draft biocode, proposed to replace all existing codes with an harmonization of them. The originally planned implementation date for the biocode draft was January 1, 2000, but agreement to replace the existing codes was not reached. In 2011 a revised biocode was proposed that, instead of replacing the existing codes, would provide a unified context for them, referring to them when necessary. Changes in the existing codes are slowly being made in the proposed directions. Topic. Philo code. Some authors encountered problems in using the Linnean system in phylogenetic classification. Another code in development since 1998 is the Philo code, which would regulate what their creators called phylogenetic nomenclature instead of the traditional Linnaean nomenclature, that is, it requires phylogenetic definitions as a type attached to every name, and does not contain mandatory ranks. The code and the accompanying volume meant to serve as a list of not suppressed names and a new starting point, like the 1980s approved lists of bacterial names functions relative to the bacteriological code, much like Systema Natura functions relative to the zoological code, is however still in the draft stage, and it is uncertain when, or even if, the code will see any form of implementation. Topic. Ambiregional protists Some protists, sometimes called ambiregional protists, have been considered to be both protozoa and algae, or protozoa and fungi, and names for these have been published under either or both of the ICZN and the ICN. The resulting double language throughout protist classification schemes resulted in confusion. Groups claimed by protozoologists and phycologists include euglenids, dinoflagellates, cryptomonads, haptophytes, glaucophytes, many heterocants, e.g., chrysophytes, raphidophytes, silicoflagellates, some xanthophytes, proteromonads, some monodoid green algae, volvocaleon and prasinophytes, coanoflagellates, becosetids, ebriids, and chlorarachnophytes. Sites. Slime molds, plasmodial forms and other fungus-like organisms claimed by protozoologists and mycologists include mycetozoans, plasmodiophorids, acrosids, and labyrinthylomycetus. Fungi claimed by protozoologists and mycologists include chytrids, blastoclads, and the gut fungi. Other problematic groups are the cyanobacteria and microsporidia. Topic. In regulated taxa The zoological code doesn't regulate names of taxa lower than subspecies or higher than superfamily. There are many attempts to introduce some order on the nomenclature of these taxa, including the phylocode, or also of circumscriptional nomenclature. The botanical code is applied primarily to the ranks of family and below. There are some rules for names above the rank of family, but the principle of priority does not apply to them, and the principle of typification is optional. These names may be either automatically typified names or be descriptive names. In some circumstances, a taxon has two possible names e.g., Chrysophysiae Pascher, 1914, nom. Descript, Hibbard, 1976, nom. Typificatum. 
Descriptive names are problematic, once that, if a taxon is split, it is not obvious which new group takes the existing name. Meanwhile, with typified names, the existing name is taken by the new group that still bears the type of this name. However, typified names present special problems for microorganisms. Topic. See also Binomial nomenclature Botanical nomenclature Zoological nomenclature Chemical nomenclature Gene nomenclature Common name <laughs>